Hi, I'm Helga from Helga's Pennsylvania Cooking and Homestead. And today is part two of the Home for Ho the Holidays YouTube uh, Creators Collaboration. Um, there's ten of us uh, doing uh, Home for the Holidays dishes uh, from everything from Hanukkah and Christmas or whatever you might celebrate. A lot of wonderful dishes, a lot of great channels. Um, and there are a wide variety of things also. And I'm not even sure that anybody duplicated. Um, yesterday, you saw me make my Jewish apple cake. Um, that's for Hanukkah. And today is going to be more for Christmas, and that is the iconic PA Dutch potato filling. Um, this mixture of potatoes and, and filling is just hard to beat. And it's great uh, outside of even the holidays. It's great with um, pork chops or roast chicken or roast venison or roast beef with some gravy. Oh my God, it's delicious. So, um, that's what I'm going to be doing for you today. Uh, the other channels in collaboration with the Home for the Holidays dishes that we're doing is um, Christy's Cooking Channel, Cooking with a Little Spice, Cooking with Cricket, Teasers Pleasers, Coco Noel, My Blind Mama's Messy Kitchen, Two Family Homestead, Angie's Pantry, Sandra's Homespun Life. Uh, so I'm going to include the links down below along with the recipe like I always do. And go check them out because you're going to find a lot of neat dishes and um, might give you some inspiration or some new ideas. Uh, but I'm very appreciative that we all got together and did this Home for the Holidays uh, dish collab, uh, sharing our favorite dishes for the holidays. So, that being said, we'll get to making the filling. And, by the way, that's another thing that sort of cracks me up is, uh, you know, up here we say filling, especially in the, in the cold region, uh, or PA Dutch area, and the other peop the other folks usually say stuffing. I know down south they mostly say dressing, um, but here it's filling, and it's actually served as a side dish quite often, not just on the holidays. So let's get to the PA Dutch potato filling. I have halved this recipe because I don't want to um, all five pounds of potatoes and stuff. But I'm going to include the original recipe because that's enough for a big, nice turkey dinner. Um, so you do your potatoes. You're going to make mashed potatoes. And I have them here and, and finishing up simmering while your potatoes are cooking. Uh, I'm going to take my finely chopped celery and onion and get this sauteed going in butter until tender. And once I get it tender, I'm going to add some parsley. And uh, while that's finishing off, we will mash our potatoes. I did not have, when I mash the potatoes, the potatoes get butter, milk, and chicken stock. And I did not have um, chicken stock on hand, I'm out. So I went to my uh, tried and true, uh, I love this stuff, it's better than bullion. It's the best you'll find for making any kind of uh, broth and stock. And they have it in the chicken, the beef, and the vegetable, and I use all three. But uh, this makes great instant stock. So um, we're going to get these cooking and tender here and mash our potatoes up, and I'll be back in a minute. I've got my potatoes done here. And I, I make these a little bit on the wetter side because of having the uh, filling the, the bread uh, cubes going into it. My uh, celery and onions are nice and sautéed here, and I'm going to add my parsley. Get that mixed in. I almost forgot before, before I throw this into the potato mixture, I'm going to throw in my bread. Now I have like seven, seven slices seven or eight slices here. I'm going to just cook this in quick. The bread gets a little bit toasted and absorbs up the um, butter and the seasonings. I'm going to throw some salt, uh, throw some pepper in. I am not adding salt just because usually with the uh, bouillon and your other things you have enough salt naturally and we don't use much salt. Um, we try to watch that, so I don't use it very much. I tend to use other seasonings, but I do like the pepper. So, 
get this cooked and mixed in over a medium heat. Oh, that just smells so good. Okay. My mixture's ready to add in. Oh, look at that. And I am going to, uh, look at that. And you know, and this is adjustable. If you want it more, I like it a little bit more on the potato side. But if you like it better on the filling side, you can add more bread. Uh, make sure you have enough uh, chicken stock that you have your moisture uh, correct so it doesn't dry out. Um, that's another nice thing about this filling dish is, you know, it's, it's nice and moist. Uh, my everyday filling dish that I make tends to be a sage filling. And I'll make a video on that another time. It's a very quick and easy, simple filling. But this isn't hard either. And the other thing we're going to do is add a couple beaten eggs and we're going to stir that in. Okay guys, here she is. She's ready to go in the oven and uh, I'll show you what it looks like when she comes out and give her a taste. Oven. And this is what it looks like. And I'm just going to bring up the sides here so that you can see that it's very much still like a stuffing and not just, you know, mashed potatoes. It is definitely a filling. Um, an idea that you can do with this that's fun is take a uh, cupcake pan or a muffin pan and spray it with non cook spray and fill the uh, cups with this filling and then bake it and then you have individual portions uh, which makes it really nice. So you can do that actually with meatloaf too. That's a fun way to do meatloaf. So you know what's next. We're going to try her out. As always, the taste test. Mm. Oh my gosh, so good. If you have never tried potato filling, it's really delicious. And like I said, it goes great with pork chops, it goes great with uh, roast beef, roast venison, with roast chicken, some gravy, you can't go wrong. And of course it's great for Thanksgiving, it's great for Christmas dinner, it's great for the holidays. And it also freezes well. So do it like in the, in the muffin pans with the individual portions and then vacuum seal them and, and freeze them and they keep a while. You can pull it out for the holidays, you get unexpected company, you're, you're good to go. So that's my PA Dutch potato filling for the Home for the Holidays collaboration. I hope you guys enjoyed all of us channels getting together and doing this and please check out the other channels. Uh, once again, recipe and all the other participating channels are in the description below. And uh, until next time, Bye.